What the f***? went wrong when they were making the driving for this game. The cars drive like you're on a drunken bender and you just went to the drive through at Taco Bell and ate $50 worth of tacos and you're shitting your ass all at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everything in between, I am back from a short hide, well, Short for me, but in YouTube standards, it's a long hiatus because they pull you out of their f***ing algorithm. But I'm back from a small hiatus I was on. Uh, most of you guys know Seventh Sword and I both work full-time jobs. This isn't our job, obviously. We're not at that subscriber count yet, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. But um, I ended up getting finding some new employment. Um, the new employment was, with, was uh, within government, so I needed to spend a good month just kind of um, grinding it out and preparing and learning and growing myself so that's what i spent the last month doing so now i'm gonna make my comeback video on you guessed it ghost recon breakpoint of all things i could review fucking ghost recon breakpoint now i want to be fair okay so i shit on the game back in september and in october when i put out two videos when i covered the beta um, I had played the beta, didn't like it at all, I knew exactly how the game was going to be, and in those videos, I had sworn that I wasn't even going to give this game the time of day when it came out. I wasn't going to buy it, I wasn't going to do anything. But in, uh, what, what is it, Black, uh, November, Black Friday, I believe, there was a buy two get one sale at one of the retailers I bought one of my 15 games from. Um, I believe it was Target, and I put two games in the cart that I wanted, I, th I believe it was Sekiro and Ace Combat 7. And then I had room for one game for free, and I was looking around, and I was like, okay, I own that, own that, don't give a shit about that. And I said, you know what, f*** it, I'll throw a breakpoint in there, and I'll come to it maybe six months later when the game is out, and it's released, and it's been patched to hell. So here we are, six months later, um, I put about 25 to 28 in between their hours into it, and I'm ready to give a follow-up, because guys... I believe in being fair. I believe in giving second chances. Give these people time to fix their mistakes, to go back on what they were trying to pull with their bullshit microtransactions and store system, which, by the way, they claimed was uh, released too early and not put in place. F*** off. Anyway, so let's hop into it. How is Breakpoint six months later? Um, so 25 hours, right? I... I <laughs> Guys, it's, it's an interesting 25 hours, so here's the thing. So Breakpoint, if you look past all the bullshit and all the, you know, the hype that was built up by the media for the game and the disappointment from when it came out, there's a decent amount of fun to be had in the game. Now I'm playing it solo because none of my friends wanted to go spend money on this game, so I'm playing through it by myself, about 25 to 28 hours, and I'm having an alright amount of fun. I mean, it's alright, right? You look past all the shit, like the, the awful f***ing AI, um, the throttled pay to win system where you just spend some real money and you get gold weapons, which by the way, the loot system doesn't mean a damn thing in this game. You have these gold weapons, your purple weapons, your typical stuff that you would see in Tom Clancy's Division or even in the new Assassin's Creed games, and it doesn't mean anything. And that's one of the biggest problems about this game is that they try to have this loot system, and loot systems are addicting, guys. Like, people enjoy loot systems because you get gratification when you find that next badass new weapon. But the problem is, with Ghost Recon Breakpoint, all the weapons, and here, here the fanboy is going to come in here, and they're going to get all pissed off, and the fan, and be, no, you're wrong. Guess what? Eat my ass. The loot system sucks. Every weapon feels the same. Every weapon fires the same. Some a little slower than others, some a little faster than others. But other than that, they claim to give you stat points like plus eight to uh, vitality for your armor or um, ignores armor for your sniper rifle, which is cool. But at the end of the day, if you one-shot somebody in the head, they're going to go down. Minus the big juggernaut guys who you, you shoot them twice in the head, for, you know, once to knock their helmet off and then another to finish the job. Other than that, even the the wolves, the uh, what are supposed to be the elite soldiers that are too hard or out leveled, you know, that out level you, you could take out in one shot, one to the face. So the whole loot system and the mechanics within that just counteract everything else that's in the game. So it's pointless. Now getting to the nitty gritty, the game itself is uh, it's it's got it, it, it's disappointing because it has potential. And you can see it, like, when you roll, roll around in the mud, you know, your character gets all covered in mud, and there's attention to detail there that's that's pretty impressive. I mean, the game looks pretty good. Um, I'm playing on an Xbox One X. I believe it says it was 4K. I don't know if it is. But for the most part, the giant vistas, the mountains, the, the beaches, the water, it all looks pretty good. But the problem is, is there's so many just weird graphical glitches. Like, my guy, at one point, I was 
uh, investigating some intelligence. And when I went down to open like this folder to see a blueprint or, or try to find another bivouac, bivouac, whatever the f they're called, um, it like threw me through the wall and I fell through the map. And it's happened a couple times. The game is just a glitchy mess. But let's talk about like the mechanics of the game. So how is the uh, the looting, the shooting? How does how does the game play? is it entertaining? Right, the entertainment factor. So the reason I'm showing you guys one clip right now for this game and not just, you know, I'm splicing in a bunch of different aspects of the game and what I'm talking about them is because when I, when you, by the time you guys finish this video, I'll be done with this one mission I'm doing and done with the game. Like that's it. What you see now is what you're going to be doing the entire time you play Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Here's how it works. You talk to somebody who gives you like some runaround dialogue. It's just like, there's no like depth in the dialogue. You go up to somebody and they're like, and they're like, Hey, I need to know this information and they say this is all i got and then all of a sudden boom you got a new mission and you're like what the f or if you're doing a story mission you go and you watch these cutscenes with like these fucking dude bro guys with these like backwards hats and shit and they're giving you these missions and and all the missions revolve around is go here scan the intelligence go here kill this person mission over that's literally it they send you to one place to look for for intelligence or look for clues and then they send you six miles down the road or up the road to go finish the mission and it's the same thing so you just the cars are pointless and they drive like shit but anyways getting back to it so the mission structure is, is that and once you guys finish this video and you guys see this mission playing in the background that's everything that you do in the game there is nothing else there's a couple of spots where you go to like underground bunkers and bases and stuff which are which are cool but for the most part that's it that's all you do and this is the problem with open world games and what ubisoft has been doing with their games is every mission is a fetch quest or a hit quest where you've got to go kill you know assassinate somebody take them out or whatever and then the mission's over so they build these big giant maps they build these and brag about these huge maps but they're empty there's nothing going on there's barely any civilians walking around by the way and when you shoot them you you if you shoot more than one of them it automatically kills you and game over and then you restart from a checkpoint which fucking pointless What's the point of that? Let me shoot who I want to shoot in the face. I was walking past one guy, and, and these people are everything that's wrong with 2019. I walk past so many people, and he, I'm going to give you some of the quotes I've heard. You're in my personal space. And there's another guy I walked by when he was just like, my anxiety is triggering. And like, I'm serious. This shit is in the game. But that's it. I mean, let's be fair though, okay? People are going to be wondering, how the hell have you put 25 to 28 hours in this game, uh, and you're still going, and you're and if you're talking all this shit? I'll tell you why, guys, because I lowered all of my expectations, every single one that I had for this game. I knew exactly what it was going to be. I've been playing games since I, I'm 32 now, right? Spoiler alert. Um, I've been playing games since I was five years old, right? So I've been playing games for 27 years, like religiously, like full time, guys. I know the trends. I know the industry. I've watched it grow. I've watched it change over the years. And when I play a demo of a game, or, or I guess a beta is what they call it now, of a game, I know exactly how the game's going to be, okay? This comes from experience, and a lot of you guys will be able to relate to that. Now, when I lowered all expectations and I just say, you know what, I want to turn my brain off after a hard day's work, right? You put in the grind, the 9 to 5, the 8 to 4, whatever you work, and you go home, you just want to turn your brain off. You don't want to, you know, focus hard on a game like Call of Duty or, um, you know, Forza, where you've got to make those turns and you can't fly off, and right? And you have to focus on driving. Like, sometimes you just want to turn your brain off, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. So turn your brain off. Right? If you can find Ghost Recon Breakpoint for $20, I would say you'll you'll get your money's worth for $20. You'll have a good time as long as you know what you're getting into. And this isn't a game that you need to sit down and binge play. You can come back to it whenever you want because nothing's going to change. The mission structure is the same. They have raids now, which honestly I'm not going to I'm I'm not even going to bother with the raids. Uh, I can't even get anybody to play online. Um, so if you guys want to play with me, hit me up in the comments, let me know and maybe we can run a raid. But be warned, be warned. If we play together, I ain't driving. I'm just gonna say that. I am not fing driving in this game. The driving, I don't know how a company that makes a game like The Crew, which doesn't have the best driving physics, by the way, but they're doable, right? It's a car racing game, all about racing cars. So it's doable. You can get from point A to point B, no problem. They're a little arcadey, but whatever. For the, for the company that makes The Crew, you gotta wonder how, what the fk went wrong when they were making the driving for this game. The cars drive like you're on a drunken bender and you just went to the drive through at Taco Bell and ate $50 worth of tacos and you're shitting your ass all at the same time. Seriously, the cars just float. They just float. And, they, and then when you're in the air, they just sink. 
Like, it's insane. Like, when you're driving on terrain, whether it's flat or whether it's hilly, God help us all, don't drive on hilly terrain, um, the cars just float. And then when you take flight in the air, the cars, like, whip around, and you can actually, like, control giant several ton vehicles in the air it doesn't make any sense guys and the driving in this game is pointless it's pointless it's pointless just fly a helicopter it's going to take you ages to get anywhere and you're going to end up taking six vehicles just to get a mile down the road because you're going to crash every single one or roll it or it's it's like just get so frustrated with the driving that you're just like fuck it i'll walk movement wise like character movement wise the game is better than it was in the beta that's for damn sure so a lot of people had gripes with the uh slow it was kind of like playing red dead redemption but the thing is it didn't work right so ubisoft tried to go with that realistic route where everything was very slow like going prone or getting up or reloading every animation was clunky it was slow your character would walk off ledges when you told him to stop he would take like two or three extra steps before he actually stopped so they did a complete overhaul of the whole movement system, and it does feel more responsive. It is a little bit faster, so it's less grind, like not grindy, but it's less just. Ugh. So that's a good thing. The shooting uh, feels pretty good. Uh, I mean, you, every gun is a sniper rifle. You can literally snipe with a pistol. You just go into first-person mode by clicking the right stick in or mouse and keyboard or whatever the hell you're playing on, and you can you can actually just literally snipe people with a pistol. So there's that. But listen guys, I'm not here to tell people to not buy the game or to not enjoy the game. I'm here to educate. I'm here to let them know of my experience so I can either save somebody $20 or get them hype about going to spend their $20 because they know they're going to get something that's going to keep them entertained for you know a couple dozen hours or so. So I'm not here to bash the people who bought the game. Well, actually, yeah, I am because the people that were hating on my first two videos of this game, oh boy, hate to say I told you so, but I told you so, didn't I? How much did they walk back? This game was on sale for like $30, not even a month after it came out so here's the here's the here's the i told you so but if you're looking for just a fun time if you're just if you're not here to take it seriously and you just want to play a game with some friends where you run around and you just shoot people in the face and you do missions you're gonna have a good time if you're looking for a good co-op game and there's nothing else to play or you've played everything else pick this game up for 20 bucks you'll have a decent time but anyways, in a world full of shitty video games and shady companies, I'm just here to educate and inform. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for talking games with me, and have a nice night.